Hey guys, this is my science for a project. It's a tornado chamber. It's fairly easy to build and not too expensive. Anyway, let's get started. So, on the three sides, on the uh, front, left, and right, I have plastic glass. I use it instead of real glass because I, I don't want to get hurt when I was cutting it. And then I have um, wood board on the top, the back, and the bottom. I cut out a little hole on the back so I will be able to put in dry ice and warm water. I made, a, I made it a little bit too small and I went into trouble because of that. So you can make it bigger if you're doing it. And then I have the exhaust fan on top of it. I cut out a hole and fit the exhaust fan in there. The exhaust fan is the most important part of this whole chamber because that's what's going to suck up the smoke and spin it. And I have this vent pipe to uh, make the spinning of the exhaust fan stronger and then use uh, duct tape to connect the vent to the top and then I have dry ice and then I have uh, the warm water and then I have um, this to handle the dry ice because the dry ice is very very cold if you touch it with your bare hand you'll burn your skin so let's get started so first, you take a chunk of dry ice, like a big piece, be pretty generous, like that, actually bigger than that, and then you put it in the plate. You might screech a little bit, but don't freak out, because that's what dry ice does when it touches like solid surfaces. Next, add your warm water in the plate. Make sure the water doesn't cover more than half of the dry ice. That way, the more smoke will come out. And then next, you just wait for the smoke to build up in the chamber, cause that way it'll be easier when it first starts. I think you guys can all see the smoke that is coming out. And then one important thing is angle the dish right under the exhaust fan. That way it's easier for the fan to pick up the smoke. It's like directly under it. I think it's ready now. I'm going to plug it in and see. You'll see the smoke start spinning. And then after a couple of seconds, there's a tornado. And then we, if you're going to build this at home, make sure you have two gaps on the opposite corners. One right here and one right here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm sticking my fingers through it right now. Uh, you need it because you need the cold air to rush in from the two sides. It needs to collide with the warm supply of air that's coming from the warm water in the dish. And if the water cools down, just add some more water to it. I mean warm water to it because the warm water and the cold air, that's what's going to make the tornado spin. And if you don't have enough space, the uh, chamber won't work because it needs the air to collide. And then make sure this door is closed properly because when I lift it, you can see the tornado is gone. And then after I close it, it will start to pick it up again. Might take a while. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, and then, yes, that's it. Just make sure you hold everything together tightly except the corners because it might shatter when you are moving around. And make sure it's a shallow dish instead of a ball because that way the smoke has spread out evenly into the whole box instead of going up straight into the vent. For some reason, that makes it easier to pick it up. Hint black. Huh? Hint oh, black. Oh yeah, and I sp spray painted the, the wood black so it will be easier to see when the tornado comes out because it's wide and it's gonna be hard to see when everywhere's like a like, block. So yeah. Thank you for watching. That's my science for projects. Pretty cool. Try it out.